Hi guys, it's time for math. So what we're going to do is we are going to review 11, 12, and we're going to learn about 13 and 14 today. So we talked about 11. We said it was 10 ones. And then it was 1, 1. So 11 is a 1 and a 1, and it's right there. To change 11 to 12, we are still going to have one group of 1s, but instead we are going to have two 1s, and that makes it a 2. So we have 11 and 12. I'm just going to move these over here real quick. And then... I'm going to do this. We have 10, and then we do the next two numbers. After 10 comes 11, and after 11 comes 12. So one of the things that I want you to do with paper and pencil, you don't have to do it on the computer because it's really hard, is I want you to practice writing the numbers that we are doing. I want you to practice writing 11s. I know they're nice and easy. I want you to practice writing 12s. And after today, I want you to practice writing 13 and 14 so that you're getting your numbers the right way. So you'll be practicing 11, give a space, 11, give a space, 11, give a space, 11. To practice 12, it's a one, and it is a two. Make sure your two is going the right way. Leave some space. Leave some space. And leave some space. All right. So our next number that we are going to look at is 13. So we have 10. We have 11. We have 12. We have 13. 13 is a one and a three. So I'm going to write a one and a three. Now, to find, to find out how to make a 13, we have a group of 10. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's our handy dandy group of 10. I'm just going to speak up there. And we have, we have 10. We are going to then, I'm going to erase that real quick, add 1, 2, and 3. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're going to add three more. And then we will have 13. So 13 is a 1 and a 3 because here is our number 1 for 13 that tells you of one group of 10, and these are our three ones. All right, that is 13. Now, if I want to show 13 on my tens frame, and I'm just going to make draw my tens frame real quick, I need two of them because can't do that on we can't make a 13 on just one tens frame because every tens frame only has 10 squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we know that all of these get colored in because that's 10. Then we go 11, 12, and 13. So that is another way to show me 13. So we have one full tens frame and three more. Okay, so that is our number 13. 13 comes after 12. It is a 1 and a 3. Now, the next number is 14. So we already have 3. If we put a 4, that's 14. We have one group of 10s, so that's 10. And we have four 1s. So we're going to add 4, and that is 1, 4, that is 14. So 10 plus 4 more equals 14. To make it, it's one group of 10s, four ones, 14. Okay, let's look at my 10s frames for this one. All right, here's my 10s frames for this one. So you one, two, three, all we know is that if we do all of these, that's 10, then we want 14, we have to add four more. One, two, three, four. That is 14. So I have one group of 10s and four extra ones is 14. Again, all my T numbers begin with a one. And starting with 14, you can hear the number 14, 11, 12, and 13, you can't hear the number, but with 
14, you can hear the four and teen, but they all end with the teen sound. All right, so today for our activity, I'm gonna show you what to do, kind of like I did yesterday, so that you know what to do. Okay, so for today's activity, you are going to get 13 and 14. You're going to try really hard. I know it's gonna be hard on the computer. That's why I want you to practice on paper and pencil. And I want you to practice a one and a three for 13. Leave some space, a one and a three, a one and a three. A one and a three, one and a three, and a one and a three. If this gets too hard to do, then please, please, please use paper and pencil. It's okay. Okay, down here it says shade in 13 circles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, because that's my 10 frame. And then one, two, three. Same thing for a 14, practice my 14, a one and a four. And you're gonna do it on all the lines. And then shade in 14 circles. Again, you've got the 10 frames. And then all you need to add is one, two, three, four. So you're gonna have both of these papers to do today all on your activity with Seesaw. Again, practice on paper and pencil. Make sure your numbers are going the right way. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.